Oh, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Found me a little bell. Cat fishermen have been here. And one of them forgot his little bell. Got one. Big one. All right, good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the channel. Lynn TN Fishing here. We're out here on Greater Fort Loudon today. We're gonna see if we can't catch a crappie or two. Water's down pretty good today. About as low as it gets this time of year. Not much going on in the way of boat fishing. A few boats out there. So we're going to see if we can't catch a fish here. We're going to start off with our little blue jig as usual. Start off with that little blue jig, little black head. This one's getting a little roughed up, but uh, should do the trick. First week of December, basically, and uh, pretty mild today, about 50 degrees. So we'll see if we can get started. Maybe we can catch us a fish here. All right, folks, we're gonna go right to fishing here. I don't know about this intro stuff. Seems like more and more people are going getting away from in, traditional intros for their YouTube channels. So people just don't have the patience for much of an intro. In some ways it doesn't make sense. When you're fishing you can kind of, I don't know, if you, you got something to talk about. I guess you talk about it while you're fishing. At least maybe you got a chance of catching a fish there while you're talking and going on about your channel. But we are out here on Fort Loudon Reservoir this afternoon. Fort Loudon Lake. It's first week of December. And we got a crappie on right there, right off the bat. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Well, that's a nice one right there. Yes, sir. This feels like a pretty decent one. About 50 degrees or so out here. First cast. That's a bad, you know, bad luck, they say. I've heard people say that. But we'll take this first little crappie right off the bat on a little blue jig with a black head. Uh, he ain't that great big, but uh, it's pretty typical size for out here. He ain't bad. Pull him off of that one little spot out there where I have uh, caught a lot of fish before. So, uh, he's probably about, uh, about an eight inch or I'd say, seven to eight inches. There he goes. All right, folks, we got one. Hope we got a good one here. Feels like a decent fish. Pretty far out there. I moved down bank a little bit. Have caught them on this little spot before. Yeah, that feels like a decent fish right there. Feels like a decent fish. That's a nice crappie right there, folks. That's a good one. Go easy with him here. He's probably barely hooked. That's a decent fish. Keep him out of that mud a little bit right there. Decent fish right there. It's a good keeper size. Probably a little over 10, 10 and a half inches. Look at them pretty colors right there. Pretty little fish. Yep. Nice. Nice little old Fort Loudon crappie. They're few and far in between right here today, folks. We got one there. Yeah, maybe we'll get another one, folks. Got about another hour and a half of light left, at least. There he goes. There he goes. Got a little... I think that's the top to an old ball mason jar. This water's really low right now, so it exposes a part of the bank that you normally don't see right here. And it's full of old pieces of broken up pottery and glass and used to be a church here. This used to be St. Mark's Church here in Louisville. And all these bricks and things you probably see in the video down through here is part of the old foundation. But that's 
an old piece it's got some writing on it right there if I can tell what it says genuine boy oh boy boy body cap boy oh cap for mason jars genuine boy d cap for mason jars yeah I'm not sure what that says that's what it's for is for mason jars been out in the lake probably since it was dammed up here sitting right here the whole time waiting on me to find it all right i guess we guys a skipjack here folks trying to yeah oh boy trying to get him reeled in here and uh darned old skipjack oh boy oh dang no skipjack you like my little jig right there <laughs> you can't have it but I will let you go since she was halfway decent didn't give me too much trouble but you go straight back out there you go now don't go back that way all right good afternoon folks back out here on greater Fort Loudon this afternoon we're gonna see if we can't catch a fish Got a few hours of light left here this afternoon. All right, folks, we got hooked up with one right here, and it feels like a decent little fish to get the day started here. See what we caught. Yeah, we got a crappie. Decent little crappie. Get out of that mud a little bit. Yeah, he ain't a big one, but... Uh, that's one to get the day started with. At least we know there's a few out there. Got him on a little blue jig. A little white head. A little red thread. A little blue thread. A little red eye with a little black dot. And he is a white crappie. About nine inches long. Let's turn him loose right here. Let's see if we might get another one out there. There you go, little buddy. Nice fish. There we go, boy. Got one. I don't know what we got right here. Oh, that's a crappie. Boy, that's a nice one, I think. Pretty decent one. Boy, he's scrappy. Hey, why he's swinging that head? Ain't no monster, but uh, that's a little bit better one. I was just kind of... Oh, he's barely hooked right there. Uh, just bringing that in playing around a little bit trying to get my line untwisted and kind of bobbing it kind of jerking on it trying to get my float to kind of line was twisted up around the float so I just kind of bobbed it a little bit and there he was so uh, second one today don't seem to be too many out here let's just see how big he is for the heck of it I say he's probably about eight inches long but i just kind of like to see for the heck of it that's about a nine and a half inch fish right there so he ain't too too far from uh being harvestable so uh anyways we'll take him there fish number two fish number two Right here on this cloudy December day here in East Tennessee. See if we can get another one here. All right, folks, we got another one. This feels like a pretty heavy fish right here. We'll kind of go easy with him. That's a heavier one. That was a heavier one. Let's see if we can get a look at him here. There you go. That's a decent fish right there, folks nice little white crappie right there yes sir that's a little bit bigger than normal that's definitely uh getting on up there close to keeper size For the heck of it i'll just see how big he is yeah see that fish is going to be uh that's going to be real close right there to a keeper There he goes, quick release on a the crappie. Yeah. There he is, there he is. We'll give you a little bit better release than that. I'm sorry, my little buddy. 
these rocks are kind of messing me up here a little bit but that's a little bit better crappie that's keeper there i'm pretty sure he would keep so there you go just for a reference a nice nice white crappie here that's number three today let's see if we can get another one there he goes found this little spinner bait thought i'd show you just saw the tentacles sticking up out of the mud down here just barely the end of them i found several like that they'll be completely covered up in the mud and you'll just see this this little bit of of this sticking up but these are cool to have around if you ever want to work on making your own lures or modifying your own lures there's a lot of good hardware here so i always pick these up when i find them but uh thought i'd show you that we are going to move locations here now we've moved already we'll try another little spot right here before dark i don't know what time it is we got a few minutes before dark. We're gonna try it right here. Now, I did catch a couple of big old hogs at this spot a couple of days ago. So maybe there'll be another big old hog crappie laying out here before dark. Oh yeah, well, we've had some fishermen here. Now notice I didn't say cat fishermen. I just said fishermen. But here's what they left is there beautiful i guess this is like a little piece of artistic sculpture they left on the bank here this is great for a great blue heron to get caught up in but we got line going all the way out there oh i see what's going on go what is that is that somebody's reel right there i think it is it's a spool of uh something out there let me set this down and see what we got here we got this big thing of line right here and it's connected to something out here oh i see it's a big spool yeah maybe i can get it without falling down one of these rocks right here it's real slippery oh that's what it is it's a thing of uh Old mine, old filament, probably the cheap stuff. I don't know if it's been out here on bottom a while or what, but uh, we're gonna get it out of here. I'm gonna go throw this away right now. Part of an old spark plug or something right there. That's part, oh, that's part of an old fishing reel right there. I guess the water's dropped on down a little bit more. Maybe that's what's going on here, how it has. That's why all this stuff is suddenly exposed here. The water's gone down another foot or two. Speaking of foot, somebody lost her nice Nike right there. Boy, that's a nice Nike. I wonder what happened to the other one. How do you get home with one of your nice Nike shoes and the other one stays out here on the lake? That's weird. All right, here we go, folks. Get that trash out of here. All right, we got one, folks. Got one. Feels like a good one. Feels like a good one here. Oh, son, that is a good one. I gotta get him up out of them rocks. That's a big one, whatever that is. If that's a crappie, if that's a crappie, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. I hope that's a crappie. I hope that's a crappie. It is heavy. Whatever it is, is heavy. So it's trying to come in downstream a little bit. It might be a white bass. If it's a crappie, it's a good one. If not, it's probably a white bass. Begin to think it's almost got to be a white bass. It, yeah, it's got to be a white bass. A crappie pulling like that. Oh man, is that a crappie? That's a white bass, yeah. Well, hey. We'll take him there. He nailed that little blue jig with a little red thread. Uh, well, yeah, it's got a little red in it. Blue jig with some red in it there. And that is a jumbo white bass right there, folks. Big old white bass. 
That is a big old, big old white bass right there. A little blue jig with a little red, a little black head. Let's get this little boy turned loose right here while the going's good. Show him off here on this beautiful, give you a look at the surroundings here. Nobody around, water's down, bluebird sky. We've got a sliver of a moon right up there. I can see it. I doubt if you can see it now. But we got a little sliver of a moon above them trees right there. Look at that big, beautiful line. Let's get him turned loose. 